Hello everyone, and welcome to part 2 of the Learning Easy Mod Guide. In the previous part, I gave a brief introduction to the skill set of low AR and showed how to progress from basic maps to more complex ones. If you haven't seen it, I definitely recommend doing so because today we're going to cover more complex topics that are nearly impossible to understand if you don't have a basic grasp on reading low AR. In this video, we'll talk about how to read stacked patterns, easy hidden, and at the end, I'll show you how to farm easy DT. Timestamps are on screen, so without further ado, let's begin. Picking up where we left off, after playing 4 star maps with easy for a while, you move to 5 stars. This is the standard progression, and everything seems to be going fine, until you find a map like this. This is bonsai's bass type, C type. I'm sure you've come across at least a few maps like this, especially if playing easy mod comes down to throwing out on everything you play. Don't get discouraged if you can't play these patterns right away, as they're some of the hardest to read with easy. With time, you'll be able to sight read this stuff, and it's pretty hard for beginners, but not impossible with a little bit of out of the box thinking. We know that C type has a constant rhythm, so you can just tap at the same speed with your tapping hand. That leaves the issue of aiming. If you take a closer look at the pattern, it's quite simple. A note in the middle, a note next to it, and then another note in the middle. After you understand the pattern in this basic way, you can let your reading powers take over. Remember, memorizing does very little to improve your reading, so it's important you understand the map and don't rely on memory. Almost all maps can be played with easy if you approach it like this, and keep in mind that as your reading improves, you'll be able to sight read and won't need this method as much. Something that legitimately blew my mind the first time I saw it was easy hidden. How do people aim it? How do you know when to tap? And the simple answer is intuition and a little bit of using the music to your advantage. That's right, time to turn your music volume up from 10% because you're actually going to be following the beat. And if you think, oh, this is just like reading easy but it's with hidden, well, you're kind of right, but a lot of maps like Dumb Surf Earth Easy Hidden are quite challenging. Go try for yourself. Yeah, I failed too. So then, how do you play this? Well, I'll admit, I had a bit of a head start with this one, since when I just started playing, my main goal was passing 3 stars with hidden, and as you know, they usually have an AR of about 6. That being said, low AR hidden is learnable no matter what stage of the game you're on. One technique you could use is to pick a simple map with some small jumps and a few bursts. Then, go download Osu Trainer, which will be linked in the description, and put the map on whatever AR you're most comfortable with. Let's say that's AR9. Put on hidden and FC it. Now go into Osu Trainer and lower the AR by 1, so if it was AR9, make it AR8. And so on. Do this until you get around AR5, then move on. Once you've played enough maps like this, you'll learn to sight read low AR a lot better. Once you reach this point, just put on easy hidden and press the F2 key to get a random map, play it once, and move on. This way you'll learn to sight read a lot better, which will be more beneficial than hyper focusing on one map. A few things to consider before doing this are that 1. You must have a decent grasp on both the easy and hidden mods individually before you do this. 2. Some maps, like ones with stacked notes, are extremely hard to read for beginners, so don't be ashamed if you can't pass these right away. And 3. In my learning easy mod video, I wasn't joking when I said that learning low AR was a long process, and the truth is, it only gets harder when you throw hidden into the mix. Most top players struggle with it. Speaking of which, if you're having trouble understanding where your cursor should be at any point in the pattern, I recommend that you go over to Ekoro or Licky Chaos's channel and watch how they aim easy hidden. I can't guarantee that it'll help much, but for me, it definitely did. Now let's talk about the final topic for today, EasyDT and how to farm it. And I'm not gonna lie, learning EasyDT is pretty analogous to learning Easy only. That being said, farming it isn't a great choice since Easy gives like no PP, and in my opinion the best use for EasyDT is pushing your limits. Once you get used to the density, the OD, AR, and CS make fast maps easier to learn, and on top of that you get 3 lives. These farm maps on EasyDT are also a good opportunity to learn alternating, which is harder when you have to read higher rates. ARs. Now, if you do want to get PP from easy DT farming, it's nearly identical to regular DT farming. You know the maps, Surawachi Sana, Angel with a Shotgun, and other maps of similar structure. I'll leave a few maps in the description, but if you want a shortcut, you can go to a comfortable difficulty, then type in BPM less than 170 for example. Remember that this BPM will increase to 1.5 times speed after you apply DT. One more thing about easy DT farming, don't use it as a way to neglect your high AR reading. You should still play DT maps with AR 8.5 or higher regularly because you don't want to end up in a situation where you're capable of FCing 8 stars with easy but can't even pass a 5 star map with DT. 
With all this in mind, you should improve a lot faster at EasyHD and EasyDT. Remember, it's not a linear or easy process, and a lot of the time you'll find yourself asking, how does someone even read this? And the answer is lots of time and lots of sight reading maps with low AR. I believe anyone can become a great easy player if they just put the time in. Also, don't only play easy during your OSU sessions. Make sure to play a variety of skill sets whenever you log in to make sure you don't lose your high CS aim, for example. That about covers everything I wanted to say in this video. Leave a like if you enjoyed, and if you have any questions, put them in the comments and I'll do my best to respond. Thanks for watching, and have fun playing easy. Let me see you riding